minus 800 for Kevin Holland, who can become the Go, first ready? fighter Kevin, on the UFC Fight roster zone. to four victories in 2020. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. And I'll mention it again. And whoa, eight. whoa! How about that for an opening flurry? Big uh, swing and a miss for Holland, and Antiveros caught him with the spin. Well, you can see. Look at that. I've he, seen him do that before. He opens with an axe kick sometimes. Not the most uh, recommended thing, but he made it work there. There's a calf kick. Now Holland closes the distance. Boom! Look at that nice slam right into side control. Trying to shake off the guillotine here. Posting at some elbows from close quarters. Yeah, there's no guillotine there. There's possibly a bomb flu choke if he doesn't let go, though. Tried to power it out there. Came really close to reversing the position. Now he's in north-south. Kevin, I'm talking about here. Let's see what he can do. From here, he can attack the neck, go after an arm. But you see there, you know, he, he didn't like what he got. From Monteveros on the feet, he thought, you know what, this is mixed martial arts. You're a Taekwondo guy. You just did the splits and axe kicked me in the face. <laughs> Screw this, I'll just put you down. Yeah, both of these guys have range. Obviously, we showed you the big reach advantage for Kevin Holland, but six feet two inches tall for Monteveros, and he actually usually fights at welterweight, believes that's his future at 170 pounds in the UFC. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why he came in two pounds lighter. Anytime you see that, you got to think they're in the wrong weight class. I like it, I like it. Oof, they're good elbows, really good elbows. And this is the last place Antiveros wants to be. I mean, he was emotional walking in. He's dreamed of this moment, no doubt, for a long time. And unfortunately, 30 seconds in, you're on your back. And all the Taekwondo in the world, it does not matter when you're down there. I was going to ask you about that, Michael, because on the walk for the people that were in break, literal tears coming down yes. his face for Charlie Ontiveros. How do you deal with those emotions and, and, and all that pressure? Yeah, well, you've got to be careful because you can let your emotions control you. You know, I remember once when I fought, I had my son in my corner. And when, you know, you hug your cornerman as you're going in, I was almost crying. And for my next fight, he wanted to be in my corner again. I said, I'm sorry, son, I was too emotional. You know, and, and emotions are great. It gives you a lot of adrenaline. And adrenaline can be your best friend or your worst nightmare. And certainly being over-emotional that's never a good thing. In a fight, you want to be cool, calm, collected, in the moment, nice and present, and relaxed, believe it or not. But Ontiveros did a good job there, almost back to his feet. But Kevin just dragged him right back down. Big brother treatment coming from Stop! Kevin Holland. Stop! Stop! Oh, and there's a tap. Wow! Don't move. Don't move. Kevin Holland chokes him out. I'm not sure what happened, Michael, yeah, but whatever it was, it ended quickly. That was real fast. Let's take a look at the replay to see what happened there. Could have been a potential bond flu. Uh, keep working. I'm gonna keep working. I know you've been watching though. But there it is, though. Away. Kevin Holland, first guy. Four wins in 2020. I think he's talking to Israel Adesanya, who's in so, the building. Gets the takedown. Well forces the takedown. He's got the rear body lock there, kicks the foot out, drags him down there. Let's take a look. What's going on here? See, again, terrible angle. Can't really see what happened there. Man, was he out? He did not tap. He did not tap, and uh, oh, I didn't hear a verbal, potentially, but he just might have. Potential clash of heads as they hit the canvas. That might be what the referee saw, because they went down, the heads were connected, and if Kevin Holland's head impacted him as they hit the, the canvas together, me, that could knock don't you out. Me. Yes, you are, boy. You're my boy. Don't and I don't me, think boy. he tapped out because don't he's still me, on boy. the floor. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me, boy. Oh, Kevin's it's going out. Right Adesanya here. I'm about to do that. It's me and you, boy. <laughs> well, Izzy's in town in support of a teammate that will fight on the Contender Series coming up this Wednesday. We're going to take a listen to what happened there. Okay, so here we see. Go grab it. Was he out? Did he say something to the ref, or was he out? Did Mark Smith notice he was out? Smith circled around and had a look at the eyes of Ontiveros. You would think from that angle. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have more on this, Michael. Save that thought. We're gonna have more on this. Kevin Holland will have to make his victory official. Got all the confidence in the world right now. After this, you're already tapping out. You're already tapping out. Good job, Kevin. Thanks, boss. Yeah. I'm 
super hungry. Hey, sorry guys. I'm mad at that guy though. I'm sorry guys. Very, very sorry. He said Nick, I stopped instantly. I'm sorry. Right here. We're gonna face this way. Guys, put his foot right here. All right, so Charlie Ontiveros is still on the ground. They're going to bring out the stretcher for him. He's conscious, but uh, he needs to be immobilized and taken out on the stretcher. So that's what they're working on now. Meanwhile, Kevin Holland is ready to get his hand raised with the victory. And for that, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by verbal submission, Kevin Trailblazer Holland. Land. So a first round victory, second so first.